Hi, it's Kip K from Make Magazine back with another workshop weekend project. You may have never heard of a guy by the name of Ray McIntyre, but you use what he invented. In fact, we all have used it at one point or another in some form. You see, back in the early 40s, he worked for Dow Chemical and he invented foam polystyrene, or what we now commonly call styrofoam. And it comes in so many different shapes and sizes and different applications and cups and bowls and food containers and coolers and all kinds of things. Well, there are also a lot of things that you can make and reuse this styrofoam. I have a good friend who flies airplanes and he uses a lot of styrofoam for wings. So there's really unlimited uses. But today, we're going to build a five-minute foam factory out of a train transformer and some other parts. You can find it in Make Volume 16. So let's get to work. The main base for our 5-minute foam factory is made out of pegboard. Now we'll want a square piece, so I measured and marked an 18-inch square piece. And uh, oh, don't forget your safety glasses, and grab the skill saw and cut out that piece of pegboard. Now we also need two base supports for the pegboard, and that'll come in the form of a 2x4, also cut 18 inches long. Then the pegboard is attached to the 2x4s on the ends using some screws and I used a power drill to make the job quicker. Then put a quarter inch drill bit in your drill and we're going to drill through the center outside hole of the pegboard all the way through the 2x4 support. Our metal support for the 5 minute foam factory is made out of quarter inch aluminum rod. This one was 24 inches long and it needed to be cut down to 21 inches and then also bent at a 90 degree angle at about 12 inches. Now this should fit right in your quarter inch hole that you drilled in the center of your support. Uh, if it doesn't, you can work your drill bit again and make it so that it's a firm, nice, tight fit. And just to make sure that our metal support doesn't pivot back and forth, I took a 16th inch drill bit, drilled it through our 2x4 support and through our aluminum rod. And I took a small nail and nailed it through the 2x4 and through the aluminum rod, and that should hold it in place. Kind of eyeball about one inch down the end of the aluminum rod and find the nearest peg hole and mark that, and then make a small mark on the aluminum rod. Now we're going to use a hacksaw to cut a small groove in that spot on the aluminum rod. This will hold our wire, which you'll see in a moment. Time to build an anchor for our nichrome wire, and that'll be done using a bolt and four nuts. The nichrome wire should be 0 .010 in diameter, and it should have a resistance of 7 ohms per foot. After threading on two nuts on our bolts, we're going to take our nichrome wire, and at the center of the bolt, we're going to tie it and tie a knot. Then we're going to put on a nut to hold that in place, and our final nut on the end of our bolt. This will round out our anchor. Make sure all the nuts are in the same position and lay it down flat on a piece of wood. And then we're going to use some super glue just to hold those end nuts in place so it doesn't turn. Now we're going to feed the other end of our nichrome wire through the peg hole that we marked that is directly below our aluminum rod. And then we're going to tie a knot in the groove that we cut in the end of the aluminum rod. Make it taut, uh, you don't want it to be too tight and you certainly don't want it to be loose, so you may have to do some adjusting to get it uh, fairly tight. Our 5 minute foam factory base is complete and now we need a power source. So using a train transformer with variable DC output, we're going to wire up to our variable DC output and using alligator clips, clip one to our bolt and clip the other to our aluminum rod. Now make sure that the transformer is all the way down at the slowest or off speed. Turn on the transformer. And then I brought it up to about 25 and waited a moment. And our five minute foam factory is cutting through this styrofoam like a hot knife through butter. Now this will cut various thicknesses of styrofoam for a variety of different projects that you can make. And that's your 5-Minute Foam Factory. We'll see you next week with another weekend project.